Planet has recently acquired Sentinel Hub, an Earth observation platform for managing, visualizing, and analyzing Earth observation data. Planet's imagery, as well as public data sets such as Sentinel 2 and Landsat, are available within Sentinel Hub. And you can use the configurable analysis APIs to create customized visualizations or time series statistics, and then stream and integrate this imagery into any application that you're building, a data science workflow, or your GIS software. And specifically, Planet Monitoring, or our Planet Scope Constellation, this data is available within Sentinel Hub, so you can unlock daily insights from this unique data set. So let's go look quickly at what Sentinel Hub does, and then we'll look at a demonstration. First, in Sentinel Hub, what you can do is you can search for, order, and subscribe to Planet Imagery through an application called EO Browser or through an API. And when you order or subscribe to data, it's delivered to the Sentinel Hub cloud. And then you have uh, tools to interact with that data to create, for example, customizable spectral indices and spectral visualizations. Analyze that data by creating things like time lapses or time series of uh, statistics. And then integrate. So integrating with OGC APIs into GIS software or bringing over that imagery into uh, a data science workflow or an application that you're building. Let's jump into a demonstration now and I'll show you how this works within EO Browser. EO Browser is a web-based application for interfacing with the Sentinel Hub APIs. And what I can do is I've already created a subscription for uh, Planet Imagery over this area of interest in Iowa. And what I can do is search for those images and it'll pull back all the images within uh, this area of interest that I've captured. Here, I can cycle through different spectral visualizations, like here I've got a, just a true color map, but I can switch over to NDRE or switch over to NDVI. And these are completely customizable and these are defined through eval scripts. Eval scripts uh, tell the application how it should render these images. In this case, calculating NDVI and returning that mapped to a color ramp. These are extremely customizable. You can create, for example, a discrete scale NDVI map where NDVI gets classed into ranges of values between zero and one, and then are assigned discrete colors so that you can see ranges instead of continuous color ramps. And as well, you can integrate Planet's usable data mask. So this next visualization I'll show highlights some of the value of working with Sentinel Hub. Here in Sentinel Hub, uh, both the images are brought in, but also Planet's usable data mask. The usable data mask tells you where clouds are. So here you can see clouds have been highlighted. And if I turn on this usable data mask renderer here, the clouds are filtered out. And this is really important for working with any uh, analytical applications where you, for example, need to calculate NDVI. You want to ensure that your NDVI and other statistics exclude cloudy pixels, which would throw off any analysis. Now you've seen how you can bring in planet scope images, create different customized renderers and visualizations. And the last thing I'll show you is how you can then calculate statistics and look at time series. So let's go to a later date of October 28th. And what I'll do is draw a bounding box around a specific agricultural field. From there, I can click create statistical charts here at the top right. And this will look at my bounding box and go out and calculate average NDVI values across that area of interest over time. So I'll specify six months. And I'll show you the impact of working with the usable data mask and incorporating that into the algorithm. You see there's areas where it dips down where clouds were but because I have the usable data mask, I can quickly filter out those values and get a much tighter and more accurate curve that'll be useful for modeling things like crop classification or uh, crop yields and crop health. So that's everything for this demonstration. You saw how Sentinel Hub works with Planet's 
uh, Planet Scope product and how you can bring it in here to create customized visualizations, create statistical uh, analyses, and ultimately use their APIs to integrate this into whatever workflow you're working on. Thank you.